Hey guys, it's Miranda Shortcake, and welcome to my very, or should I say very, first Q&A video. So a while back I asked you guys to leave me some questions, and usually I don't have a lot of participants with this kind of stuff, but a few of you guys left me with just enough questions to be able to do this video, so let's get started. So the first question is, what does Miranda look like? How old is she? I tend to get this question a lot. Well, to put it this way, I'm often told I could pass as a 12 year old, so... Miranda, is your channel targeted towards children, or is it also appropriate for adults? I know, I know, considering I have a YouTube channel based on the Strawberry Shortcake character, and I've made videos in the past like this one. Hi YouTube friends, it's Strawberry, and today I'll be starting a little something called Berry Bitty Vlogs. And this one. Now that everyone's here, we can start the party. Ah, uh, the cringe. Your first thought may be, yes, my channel is targeted towards children. But I assure you my channel can be enjoyed by the entire family. Eventually, I'm going to try to make some stuff geared towards an older audience. So you can look forward to that. Have you ever done a toy review on something else besides Strawberry Shortcake and Little Wootsies? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I only like to do toy reviews on products that I'm genuinely interested in purchasing, so I wouldn't just buy a Mickey Mouse toy to review it unless I actually have plans to use it. Are you a fan of My Little Pony? No, not really. How long does it take you to make a video, including post-production? It all depends on the project I'm working on, so it can range from 3 days to over 6 months. Who's your favorite SSE character? It's hard for me to choose between Blueberry, Apple, and Sour. And unfortunately I have uh, too many similarities with that. Which Strawberry Shortcake series do you prefer? 2003 or 2009? Personally, I prefer the character's looks in the 2009 series, but gosh, the 2003 one had so much more potential. There were villains, a larger population of humans, a whole world to explore. I shouldn't really make a video about this. If you were one of the characters, who would you be? I'd say I'd want to be Strawberry because she's so optimistic and positive, and honestly, I wish I was more like that. What is your real name? Eh, calling me Miranda's fine. Miranda, will you be brave and stand up to yourself and do a face reveal? Miranda and Julie is not the point of standing up to myself. It's the fact that I like my privacy and quite frankly, I don't want to reveal my identity for it to be something else that people manipulate and use at their own discretion. Besides, even if I did post a video announcing, Hey guys, I'm gonna do a face reveal. It will probably go a little something like this. And even so, I wouldn't want to show my face to people who have nothing but ill will towards me. Can you post a vid about yourself? I mean, if people were actually interested in watching it, maybe? Are you real? I mean, it would be kind of weird if there wasn't someone behind the camera, wouldn't it? Have you ever thought about starting your Facebook fan page? Personally, I'm not a big fan of Facebook, so I don't really know about opening up a fan page. What do you like more, dogs or cats? Definitely cats. Miranda, how many years does the anniversary special last? In case you're new to my channel and you didn't know, I've done a couple of anniversary specials for my web series A Day in Berry Bitty City, so if you guys want to know if there will be a third anniversary special this year, the answer lies in the second special. So if you want to check that out, you can click here, but make sure you finish watching this video first. What is your favorite music in video games? As for music, I love pop, techno, Christian, R&B, and a little bit of trap. And for video games, I don't play many of them anymore, but I love The Sims, and back in 2008, I fell in love with the Strawberry Shortcake 4 Seasons Cake game for the Nintendo DS. When are you making sweet and sour grapes in the dolls? About that, I've been meaning to get to my sweet and sour customs, but since I use my workspace for both filming and crafting, I keep unintentionally pushing it off. I need some varnish too, but I always forget to buy some. Can you see any hypothetical couples in Strawberry Shortcake, like Blueberry and Huckleberry? 
definitely. There's no denying that Blueberry and Huck like each other, but the show always tries to play it off like their relationship is strictly friend-based. I joke about them liking each other all the time, and it's even gotten to the point that my sisters call Huck Blueberry's man. <laughs> so there's that. Now tell me, where is Blueberry Muffin's man? Blueberry, where is your man? And clearly, I'm not the only one who's noticed this. Can you do a house slash bedroom tour? Sure. Okay guys, this is my house. It's like a little apartment complex kind of place. So it's cozy, but a little small. And as you can see on the inside, Strawberry is just dozing off on the bed. And you have the kitchen area. And the den, it's a little bit messy, but yeah guys, this is my house. And, by the way, it'll be the new house that's going to be on my brand new series, Project SSC, which is what I'm calling it for now. So, if you want to know all about that, make sure to tune in to my Strawberry and Huckleberry's announcement video. How would a Berry Big City look like if it was made by you? I have literally been waiting the entire video to answer this question. I could go on and on, detail for detail, about how I imagine Berry Big City but to put it briefly, I envision it having every kind of neon color imaginable, with tall buildings, beautiful views of the water, and having a strict ruler who's the polar opposite of Princess Berrykin. For some reason, I also picture it smelling like fast food. How many figures do you have? This, people, is a picture of my mini strawberry shortcake dolls alone. So imagine that times three or four with all the other characters and all the other sizes. Are your favorite songs? I have a ton of favorite songs. And finally, what do your friends and family think about your videos? Actually, no one outside of my family knows about my YouTube channel, but my family is super supportive of my work, and it gets a little embarrassing sometimes. But they definitely help me out with getting equipment, and they watch every single video I put out, so they are definitely very supportive. Alright guys, that's all I have time for today. If you actually stuck to the end of this video, thank you so much. You are a trooper, because I don't know if it's going to be too long or not. And if you did make it to the end, comment bunny, something like that, in the comment section below if you actually made it. So I can see who's actually watching my videos to the end and who isn't. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Tell your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and apparently turning on notifications is a thing now, so if you want to know when I upload, please make sure you click beside the little subscribe button so you'll know when I post a video. And who knows, maybe in the next 5-10 to 10 years I'll have enough questions to do another Q&A. Don't forget to check out some of my other projects, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!